folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, what bed mass is. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so you probably have heard about this thing, right? Bed mass. And um, in, in some countries, it's actually got, called a slightly different thing. It's called bod mass. Um, and I, don't, I know that in New Zealand, we kind of use bed mass here. So what does it actually mean? Now, all of these um, six letters, they actually stand for something. So I'm just going to write that down quickly first, and then I'll actually go through each one of them. So the first one being uh, the B stands for brackets. So we kind of do anything in brackets that we've actually got to do that first. Maybe we're thinking, hang on, what's happening here? Well, think about it like this. This is just um, a set of order of operations, right? Like, so if you have like a whole bunch of symbols, um, which one do we do first? And, um, and I know following this video, there's going to be a few more with different types of questions going through this. The next one, which is the letter E, that's exponents. Um, I guess another word for it would be powers. Um, and if you look at it, it could be something like three squared, five cubed, um, any kind of those kind of numbers with powers, we kind of do that first. Now, the D stands for division. The M uh, stands for multiplication. The A stands for addition. And the S stands for subtraction. Now, I know that, um, uh, you know, with, with bedmas, this is kind of the order of operations that you need to remember. Um, now, with bedmas, it's created controversy over the last kind of few years. And um, uh, the one question that has kind of been doing its rounds over the internet is this particular question, which is six divided by two bracket one plus two. Now, you know, as, as mathematicians, we kind of know that, that uh, two is actually attached to that one plus two. Um, so, you know, the way you do it, depending on which way you look at it, you actually end up getting two answers. And I want to show you guys the two different types of answers you could get on the calculator, because this calculator has actually picked it up. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as six divided by two bracket one plus two. Now, when I do this, what's going to happen is it's going to go one plus two is three. That's doing the brackets first. Then it's going to multiply it by two there. And I think this is where the controversy actually happens, right? So because according to Bedmas, you got to go division first. So if you do divide first, you'd go six divided by two, which is three. And then three times three is nine. So you should get an answer of nine. But the, I think that's, that's where the issue is, right? Because when you do this, what you'll notice the calculator do is it's actually adding another bracket around the two and one plus two, which means the actual answer ends up being one in this case. But however, check this out. If I was to do six divided by two, and instead of putting the bracket, I put a multiplication sign in there, and then I go one plus two. And in this case, I actually get nine, because what's happening is it's doing six divided by two as separate, which is gonna be three. The one plus two is inside a bracket, which is three. Three times three is nine. So that's kind of why, you know, it was basically the question's fault. Whoever gave this question, they should have actually um, either written it with an extra bracket like this, or they should have actually written it with another bracket like this. Now, if they had done that, then we would actually have a clear answer for this particular question. Um, as for me, what I think it is, I, you know, when I look at it, I'll probably go with um, the answer of one and not nine. But uh, anyway, that is pretty much uh, uh, some of the fun things we get to do with uh, bed mess. Um, following this video, there should be a few more videos where we'll be looking explicitly at questions uh, with a variety of these kind of um, operations. Hopefully, um, you can kind of go through that and get a hang of how to actually um, do bed mess. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.